Okay, um, we just covered single covalent bonds, and now we're going to move over to something called double covalent bonds and triple covalent bonds. Uh, we're going to take a look at the oxygen diatomic molecule first. Obviously, we have two atoms of oxygen here, represented by that subscript. Now we have to bond these two atoms of oxygen together. Uh, looking on the periodic chart, oxygen, if you notice, is a group 6A, so it has six valence electrons. That has six. And then the other oxygen atom also has six. And this is where we can move things around a little bit, so make sure you use pencil. This oxygen atom has six, and it wants to gain two more. So if it wants to borrow two more from someone, the only other person that it has to borrow from is this other oxygen atom over here. So this atom of oxygen is going to loan two over. But in return, basic rule of thumb, if you loan two, you get two back. So I'm going, to, I'm going to actually erase this electron and move it up over here to represent that two electrons are being loaned over to this atom of oxygen. I'm going to move them right up there. So this atom of oxygen will then have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Before I circle it, I really want to represent that this oxygen atom is going to be able to share two back. So this guy down here that's all by himself, I'm going to bring him back up here. And these electrons are all within the boundary of this oxygen atom. So we have eight. And in turn, this oxygen atom has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as well. Now when we draw the structural formula, we're going to draw the atom of oxygen. We're going to represent this with two dashes because it's two pairs of electrons that are bonded, or because it's two pairs of electrons that are involved in the bonding. And then the other atom of oxygen. Um, this atom of oxygen actually has one, two, three, four, two pairs, or four total, electrons left over, unshared. And so does in this one. One, two, three, four. Notice that I don't separate these electrons because electrons always travel in pairs. And just a little food for thought here, if you drew this as a structural formula, right now I would accept that um, as a basic drawing. But you also want to train your um, way of thinking because there are four electrons involved in this area right here. So if you think about it, they're going to start pushing away those electrons in this area. As well, these electrons will probably be pushed away by the electrons in the bond as well. So if you were to look at um, the actual structural formula for an oxygen molecule, you'll see the double bond of the oxygen between the oxygen atoms and these unshared electrons. Those orbitals are actually a little bit shifted off to the side, so it's equal repulsion between all of the electron pairs. Just to keep that in mind. Um, N2, well, two atoms of nitrogen that we have to bond together. If you look on the periodic chart, uh, nitrogen has five valence electrons because it is in group 5A. This atom of nitrogen has five valence electrons and it needs three more to have a total of eight. So this nitrogen says, hey, do you have three you can borrow? This guy says, yeah, I have three that you can borrow. Sure. So this atom of nitrogen is going to loan three over. I'm going to represent that and put them all on the same side. Move this guy up. And this guy over here that's also on here, I'm going to move that electron over too. So now it's really representing that three electrons are going to be loaned over to this atom of nitrogen. But basic rule of thumb is if you loan one, you get one back. If you loan two, you get two shared back. If you loan three, you should be getting three shared back as well. So this nitrogen atom is also going to share three back. So I'm going to represent that all on the side, representing they're going over to this atom of nitrogen. Uh, nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now has eight within its boundary. This nitrogen also has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And an octet within that boundary. So we have a nitrogen atom three pairs of electrons being involved in bonds. So we're going to use three dashes. And the other nitrogen atom. 
There's two electrons left over unshared, and two electrons left over unshared here. Now, just for um, things that I mentioned over here, these electrons will be repelled by all the electrons involved in the bond here. So they're going to be pushed pretty far away. It's actually end up being sent way on the other side of the molecule, as well as this nitrogen. A lot of repulsion going on here between the electrons. It shifts those over. So a triple triple covalent bond is represented here. We have three dashes. And that represents three pairs of electrons. One pair, two pair, and three pair. And then over here we have a double covalent bond. And that's represented by two dashes. Because we're representing two pairs of electrons. Although it is four electrons total, it's two pairs. Um, a third example, uh, SiO2. Si is silicon, it's in group 4A, so it has four valence electrons. And generally, rule of thumb, the first one listed is usually the person that might be in the middle because it can bond to more atoms. And we have two oxygens. So let's put them on either side of silicon and see what happens. Um, silicon has four valence electrons. Let's say even if you set it up like that, Oxygen has six. So this oxygen needs two more. Silicon has two that it could bond. Let's start with that. I'm going to move this one over. And I'm going to represent that oxygen is going to loan two back. This oxygen now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This oxygen needs two. Silicon does still have two that it could possibly loan over. Let's try that. And to represent that oxygen is going to loan two back. I'm going to circle oxygen's octet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And silicon has now achieved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because by loaning two, it got two back. By loaning these two, it's receiving two back as well for sharing purposes. A double bond um, over to this oxygen and two pairs of electrons left over unshared. We're going to remember to put those at angles. And over here we have a double bond going over to the second oxygen atom. And this oxygen atom also has two pairs of electrons left over unshared. And let's just adjust our drawing to angle those a little bit. 